I'm back and I have something very exciting for you. Stand by. Okay, everybody. Sorry it took so long to get another video out. I had uh, some things come up and I couldn't uh, film. So in any case, um, I have a new electronics palette. There's three boxes. This will be a three-part uh, series. And um, let me let you know a little bit of the numbers right now. Um, the palette MSRP is $29.64, and I only paid $382 for it. And there's a lot of goodies in here, I believe. So let's get started. Be right back. Okay, so uh, I just brought the box in here. Um, so I'm going to cut it open uh, with my handy dandy knife, and uh, we'll see what we got. I'll just kind of be probably out of frame. Just a moment. I'm over here. These things are heavy, so there's a lot of items in here, and um, we're going to go through them together. Again, I don't put prices on the screen because uh, to me it's all speculation. The market's up and down and all over the place. So uh, let's get the first item out. Well, we have a poly bag, and I'm not going to take these out because these are nothing but pr document protectors, office stuff. Awesome. We're, we're off to a great start, I guess. And I need to open this. I have no idea what this is. Some kind of remote control. And uh, so let's take a look at it. It has, okay, it has, uh, it's similar to like a, a CB mic plug. And um, it appears to be wrapped up factory. So I'm going to have to look this up, try to investigate what it is. It just has two buttons on it. So I'm wondering if it's send and receive of some sorts. And we have another poly bag of goodies. I can see a charger in it. And uh, I would imagine, oh, okay, I know what this is. This is a um, charging pad for um, like a remote charger for um, an iPhone. So you set it up on your desk. Um, there's also, it looks like maybe an iWatch port right there. And uh, the power cord, power plug, plugs in. I'm looking at this real quick. Let me get my readers on. And uh, we'll take a look. Let me take a look at the port. Yeah, it's, it's for Apple products. So uh, good deal. Um, this is, and if you see up here, um, you don't have to plug in your Apple Watch. It just lays on the pad here. So, uh, good deal. I'll have to test it out and uh, make sure it works before I resell it. I would imagine, without looking them up, they're probably going to be, without, there's no retail box or anything, maybe 10, 15 bucks max. But uh, we're off to a good start. Um, a lot better than those uh, clear plastic uh, document protectors. Here we go. Oh, wow. Resident Evil 3 for PS4. And yes, I saw the new PS5 and the new Xbox. And it would be interesting on who wins the gaming war just before the holidays. So let's see if it's in here. There's something in here. So let's take a look. 
Well, there's a disc in here. And it is Resident Evil 3. And, wow, the disc is pristine. I'll have to look this up. I would imagine, I don't know how old this is. Probably a couple of years old. Uh, the Amazon tags over it, so I can't really see what it is. But I would imagine it. I could probably get 20 bucks out of it. And I'm just throwing an arbitrary number out there. But that's a good find. All right, here we go. Another poly bag. Awesome. Now, this seems to be... Okay, I know what this is. This is um, a, a Dymo... A small Dymo um, label reader. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's a Letra Tag 100H. Again, I'll have to look this up. I have no idea. It's a 100H plus. And yes, it's been cut open, but it looks like it's new. Hopefully, somebody bought one. Hopefully, Somebody didn't buy one, and they replaced it with their defective one. So I'll have to test this out and uh, go from there. And uh, I have no idea. Uh, open package. Uh, test it is working. I have to sell it used. Uh, if they go for 50 uh, new, I could probably do... You know, I'll get 25 out of it, you know, plus shipping. Wow, another poly bag. And this is just kind of like zip block plastic bags. Um, and I can actually use them in my shop because, um, you know, for jewelry, things like that, tag them. So that's a good find. At least I don't have to buy any more for the shop. Uh, next, oh, this is a big item. Next, we have a Sony DVD player. So it's been uh, taped up quite a bit. Something's in there. Let's take a look, see if we can get it open. Uh, let's see. Let's go for this side here. We can get it open up. Man, they taped it like crazy. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Let's try it from the top here. Here we go. Well, I'll let you take a look at it. It's in there. And um, the remote's here. Let's see if it's been... No, there's no batteries in it. So that's a good sign. Uh, it's an open box. Amazon taped it up. So if it's brand new... And it's not the cord. The cord is unwound. It doesn't have the little twisty tie on it. So it was returned, and um, they normally come with a set of batteries. Here's the uh, uh, those cords. So this is probably not even HDMI compatible. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, it does have a port on the back for H HDMI, and. Um, and there's the front. So it would have been nice if it was a Blu-ray player. Um, of course, you know, everybody, even I do, everybody streams now. But if you got old DVDs and stuff, it's nice to have one unless you, you know, watch them on, on the computer. It's a good little find. I could probably get maybe 10 bucks out of it at the shop. I mean, this thing, I, I really couldn't ship it.
Okay, next we have, oops, something really loose in there, wireless charge dock. And it appears, to, it's a two-in-one. And it appears to be for iPhone. And uh, let's see, it's taped up, so it's, it's not factory sealed. So let's take a look and see what we got in here and make sure it's actually the product that's advertised. All right, here we go. I'm going to open this up. I think we're going to open it up. Are you going to cooperate? Let's do it from this side. It does not want to cooperate. Okay, here we go. So it's not, it's been used. As you can see, it's been used. Um, I have to test it and uh, make sure, but it's kind of a cool design, as you can see. And uh, like I said, test them with 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 ele electronics, electrical stuff. You really do want to test them unless they're factory sealed, because. Um, if you know if, if there's something wrong with them you will definitely get them sent back and then they're trash so um, I'll test them before I sell this I would imagine new for an iPhone everything Apple's more expensive but um, new uh, these would probably go for 40 50 bucks maybe this one if it works I can list it as used and uh, try to get, you know, 20, 25 out of it, depending. I mean, if it's an 80 buck item, then, you know, the price goes up from there. But in any case, uh, moving on. We have what appears to be a mystery box. And let's see, they covered the tag, so, oh, okay. It is an Amazon Basics, excuse me, Amazon Basics wireless mouse. So this is something I'll sell in the shop. Probably get five or ten bucks for it. Not a big deal. They're not they're not high end. They're just something like if you're traveling and you need one for your laptop or something. Great. Uh, okay, here's another item right on top. Uh, electronics palette, really? They may be worth something, but um, it's a whole 24-pack of acrylic paints. So, if you any of you are artists out there, I have a pack for you. Just uh, leave a comment below. And um, we'll make arrangements and payment, and I'll ship it to you. All right. Next, we have <laughs> um, screen fasteners for mosquito screens because these are all about electronics. All right. We have two loose... Energizer batteries, they're rechargeable. I'm going to set them over here. They're loose. I'm going to sell them. I can, I can use them around the house. This one's a little hard for me to read, so let me see if I can get you some information. Uh, it's a door lock switch. Okay. Uh, it's a doorman. Wow. All right. Uh, that's nice. I got to find out what it's for. It does have a part number on it. I don't know if you can see that. 901-451. And, um, well, it's in there. Right there it is. I have no idea what uh, make and model is. Like I said, I'll have to look it up later. Some of these can be very pricey, so if this is for a, um, I don't know, BMW or something, it doesn't, it's not, somebody didn't send their old one back. This is brand new. So, um, 
I'll have to look up the uh, part number on it, find out which vehicle. If it's for, uh, you know, BMW or something, the price goes up. So uh, that that's something that I would have to uh, investigate. Okay, moving on. Here's a big item. Uh, we have a UHF digital wireless microphone system. And it's called an MX7 by ProRec. So, uh, okay. Let's see if it's in there. Whoa, all right. Well, something's in there, and it's... If it, if it was taken out, it's well packaged back in there. Wow, that's a nice setup. And has the antennas in the back. That's really nice. And uh, let's see. I'll set that over here. Make sure the mics are in there. Oh, yeah. Um, it appears to have been plugged in because the power cord is unwound. But... The mic cord and mics, everything is there. You can see that. So I have no idea what this is worth. Um, I'll speculate if you allow me to. I'm thinking it's probably, um, if it's a higher end, <clears throat> excuse me, a higher end um, uh, equipment for wireless mics. Maybe upwards of eighty dollars. If not, if it's something you know a lower brand, um, something you know if you have a, a a wedding party or something outdoors, um, it might be as low as twenty dollars, forty dollars, something like that. So um, I'll have to plug it in, make sure it powers up. But that's nice. That's a nice find. Man, there's a lot of stuff in this box. And I got two more to go after this. Ooh, a watch. Casio. Well. Okay. There we go. Oh, nice. This thing is brand new. That's nice. Um, and it's working and it's keeping time. Cool. All the, um, the owner's manuals are there and, uh, the Casio tag and lock is still on it. So this thing has not been used. This is brand new. Now, if it was a G-Shock or something, they can go upwards to $100, $150. This one, I don't know. I would imagine probably $25 or $30, but once again, I'll have to look it up. I would imagine that I'll make my money back on this first box. All right, moving on. We have uh, K-Dean Power Supply, CP04. No idea. And, uh, well, crap. All right, here we go. It is a big power supply. It has all kinds of uh, tarantula legs on it. And there it is. And there's the back. So if anybody knows exactly what this is, please comment below. That'd be great. Help me out a little bit. Oh, here we go. Kayleen Power. So, we'll have to take a look at it and uh, see what it's for. Maybe for uh, guitar effect pedals or something like that, which would actually be cool. Again, it's it's been unwound. It's It's been plugged in. So, I'll have to test this. And make sure, um, you know, it all works. Because the end user, you know, the end user buys it and they expect everything to work. Duh. All right, here we go. 
Next, we have a digital converter box, Homeworks. Okay, uh, yeah, all right. So I would imagine it goes from analog, full HD, 1080p, converter box, and it's still, well, the wires have been unwrapped, so I would imagine that it's it's been plugged in. But it appears everything's here. There's no batteries in it, which is a good sign. And uh, let's take the box out here. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just a little converter box. It has your coaxial, your, um, what do you call those? I don't remember. And a um, HDMI port. So I would imagine if you have a DVD player or something that's uh, older and um, you want to watch it on the HD TV, this will convert that signal into a higher thing. See, here's the little twisty tie for the cables. So it has been looked at, used. And um, I have no idea. Maybe $10, something like that. But there you go. Okay, next on the list, we have a iPhone, iPad, 10-foot charging cord. Wow, okay. Here we go. We have a mystery box. Oh, hold on some. There we go. A Dremo automatic fish feeder. Okay. So this is for an aquarium. And all right, it's digital. It's all in there. So apparently this feeds your fish somehow if you don't have any time because Feeding fish in your aquarium uh, is very time consuming. You know, you sprinkle the tetra on there. Takes up a lot of time. Yep. Uh, this is heavy. Nice. There is a, uh, it's a bunch of post-it notes thingies and it says one is missing. The customer put one is missing on it. Um, it doesn't say how it got missing or if they accidentally missed it themselves. Who knows? Here's a battery. Rechargeable. Nice. And... I doesn't seem that there's missing anything. This is the little stand you stick them in. But cool. All right, I can use them at one of the offices or even here. Oh, okay. So here's the other pack of rechargeable AA batteries. Nice. Um, five packs. So now I have all five of them. Right there. Sweet. I'll throw a charge on them and see uh, where it goes. And then I have a um, probably a 20 pack of Duracell batteries. Well, these aren't going anywhere because I can always keep those. I'll just stick those right here if you don't mind. And, wow, okay, I found two more rechargeable batteries, so maybe there's two packs of those, okay. We have a poly bag, it's been opened, and it's called Poetic. I've heard that name before, probably had one in the other pack, 
or uh, in one of the other uh, boxes. It's called Poetic Revolution Moto G7 uh, Black New. It's a phone case. And there it is. And it has not been used. And I bet this is for an iPhone. iPhone what? I don't know. But I'm sure somewhere in here they'll tell me. It, uh, yeah. So this one has not been used. I'll have to look up the SKU number on it, see what they run for. Some of these phone cases can be quite pricey, so I'm not even going to speculate on how much that one I can get for it. Okay, next we have I have no idea. It is dun 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 Okay, I think, I'm not sure, but I think this is a fire strike, a striker, but the striker is not here. Let me check with my knife. Well, I don't know. Didn't spark. So, okay, cool. I'll have to figure that one out later. They usually have, you know, two pieces. You know, something like that to start, you know, um, campfires or something like that. So I'll have to check it out. It, a couple bucks, maybe. Okay. We have... <laughs> a a well-used watch band for some phone and so it's been opened you can tell the seal's been broken so guess where this is going to go yeah you guessed right it's it, it's not marketable okay ne next we have another heavy box uh, with some stuff in it. I'll, I'll, I'll get to this. Um, Active Now Premium 4K White or 24K White. Is that even a collar? Um, okay, it's a teeth whitening system. I, I guess it's electronics. Let's check it out. See. It's been open. I can't even sell it. No, I can't. I, I can't even sell it. So this is also probably going to go in the famous file. So I'll just set this over here real quick. All right, let's get back to this box here. We have lots of Energizer D batteries. Okay, empty box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so there's twelve D batteries in this box. I can't think of anything that uses D batteries anymore, other than like maybe the mag lights, um, you know, the big long aluminum uh, flashlights. I I have a couple of them. So I'll keep them um, and use them. Okay, just, uh, I don't know, about eight more items in here. We have a double A. Wow, 16 pack of double A rechargeable batteries. All right. It's been opened. is nice. I can always use rechargeable batteries. And well, of course, there's two missing. 
So they got the two that they wanted and they sent the rest back. However, I got 14 of the 16. I'm keeping them. I'm a happy camper. All right. I'm going to set these over here. I'm going to leave them out of the pallet. Okay, we have an anchor. And it is America's leading charging brand. So, another cord or a couple of cords. And that's USB-C. Uh, they've been used. There's, looks like there's uh, three of them in here. So, um, cool. I'll have to test them out. Like I told you before in a previous video, I give them to friends and family. And um, I got a big box of them right now. Okay, we have another poly bag. It appears to be... I'm not going to take this out. This is some kind of power cord for something. And, uh, okay. So, I'll have to figure that one out. We have another little poly bag of... Ha! It's sealed. It's called um, Satisfaction. Uh, for what, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Thank you for purchasing our product. I'm wondering if this is some kind of um, um, iPhone strap, or not iPhone strap, um, iWatch strap of some sorts. So I'll have to look it up. Maybe the dollar box. Oh. <laughs> Found another battery. Okay. Here's another mystery box. Something's in there. All right, here we go. Wow, okay. It's obviously been uh, at least tested. This is a really cool uh, smartwatch. It also has what appears to be some kind of sensor on the back of it or camera. I have no idea what it is. The instructions are gone. The uh, power cord has been uh, hasn't been open. It's still wrapped in cellophane, and it also has some kind of uh, metal watch band thingy. That I guess that you can switch it out. Maybe. Yeah, it'll fit, and it has an extra couple of pins. For the other thing, let me see if I, this will turn on. There's no brand. There, there's no buttons on it to turn it on. Huh. Wow. It is a mystery. Don't even know if it works. Again, I'll have to research it. Maybe there's a serial number on the back. Um, it says here, oh, okay, it's a U-Watch 2. Color is Melanie's Gold. Not real gold, just Melanie's Gold. All right. I have no idea. Wow, great catch, wasn't it? Uh, let's see. This is HA or AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution. Uh, that should be in a health and beauty palette. I have no idea what that is. We have another watch band. If anybody likes leopard, leopard watch bands, it's sealed. Dollar box. And, um, okay. Assassin. 
No idea. Oh, okay. So these are um, USB cords um, on a um, retractable wheel. And it has USB-C. It has the uh, regular, the older port for Android phones, the, the mini uh, USB, and also for iPhone. So, okay, those are cool. I'll probably give them away or take one if I'm traveling someplace or something. Um, if not, I'll look them up. I'm sure they're not worth much to ship. Might cost more to ship than the, what they're worth. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We got eight more items, but they're tiny. A Camtron wireless camera. Nice. Okay. Well, it's in there. Okay, this one hasn't been unwrapped. The mount screws are still sealed. The cords haven't been up wrap, unwrapped. This is a good sign. Uh, there's a mounting bracket you mount on the wall, like in the corner here. And huh, interesting setup. It also has a uh, Cat6 port in the back, so if you want to hardwire it into your system, there it is. Now, I I guess it doesn't come with, with software, so I wonder how you would view it on your computer or a TV screen. Anyway, I'll have to take a look at it. I see no instruction booklet at all in here, so... Maybe somebody kind of tried it and forgot to include the instructions. So I'm sure you can get them offline. I'll have to test it and see if it, you know, actually works. My desk is getting full. Next, we have an anchor charging cable for iPhone, iPad, and iPod. Next, we have, oh, nice. Very nice. Uh, a Lexar um, uh, shoot. A micro uh, SDXC. So it's high speed. It has um, 256 gigabyte and it's a micro USB and this is the adapter. So that's nice. Um, it's been taped shut so I, I can't sell it for new, which means I have to actually reopen it and um, see if there's no personal stuff on it. Um, I can use it for my you know camera or something else. So I'll just set that up there. If it was new, 256 gigabyte Lexar. Maybe 30 bucks, 40 bucks. We have a um, Q Steam violin shoulder rest and an electronics palette. Yay. Um, it's all there. It may be worth some money, so I'll have to look at that. Okay. Um, it's nice in there. It's nice and packaged. So, I don't know if there's any missing parts or anything with it. So, I'll have to look look for some pictures online. It's a violin shoulder rest, one quarter to one sixteenth. If any um, violinists out there uh, know what that is. Okay, next we have a Smart Battery 3. It's loose. 
It says stop. Uh, let's find out why. Okay. There's a junction cable. Uh, remote on and off. There is a crap, or a crap load, sorry. There's a bunch of batteries in here. I doubt if they're rechargeable. But they are, well, they say premium. Who knows? I'll have to look this up, guys. I have no idea what it is. But it does say stop, so... For what it's worth... Fine. I'm wondering if maybe it's, um, I don't know. All right. We have a mystery box. Another mystery box. And, okay. It's some kind of really heavy fan. It has an on and off switch. Uh, wave maker controller. A heavy cord. Ugh. All right. No idea what this is. There's a paper in here. Uh, that's a return thing. Uh, no instructions. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you return something from Amazon, uh, try to remember to include the instructions. It's very helpful later in the process. Three more items. Netgear wireless charge, uh, wireless internet port. I get tons of these. A lot of them come back, to, uh, come back defective. The, uh, range extender and this is a low one three um, three megabytes per second some are 800 that I get I've had a couple that worked but um, oh aura aura go by fancy let's see it has okay it's a round mirror with a kickstand, dual powered, 56 LED lights, smart touch, tricolor lighting. All right. Don't know what that is. Wonder if it's something for the ladies. Let's take a look. Um, there's no sticky thing on here, so I can open it. Well, it looks f factory packed, so I'm not sure I'm going to take all this out because it's packed in there real tight. Um, it's, it's a mirror. Um, it's magnetic. So, yeah, I think this is a makeup mirror. If uh, anybody kn knows what this is, you know, Put a comment down below. That'd be great. Two more items. Or, I'm sorry, one more item. And then I'll let you get back to your day. This is a, a really nice leather um, an, an iPad cover for the iPad Pro 12.9. And man, that is that is really really nice. I'll have to uh, look this up and see how much it's worth. It's still sealed at the top. So, thank you guys for stopping back in and uh, sharing this uh, with me. And uh, on your way out, if you would please uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below, and um, I'll see you the next time around, probably in a couple of days. Be good to each other. Bye.